So what is volumetric analysis? Well, volumetric analysis, I guess, is easiest to contrast with gravimetric analysis, which is another method that we've used in order to determine the composition or the nature of particular types of mixtures in particular. The technique of volumetric analysis is what we apply to the um, solutions of different acids, bases or salts in order to determine um, something about their uh, constituency. So in simple terms, what we use volumetric analysis for is to determine the concentration of an unknown solution. So that's pretty much what we're trying to do with uh, pretty much the rest of this uh, section of the acid and base reaction topic. So in order to do that, the first thing we need is a standard. And we talked about standards um, in the year 11 course. Uh, a standard is a solution which has a known concentration. And there are two ways to know a concentration. You can either use what we call a primary standard. And a primary standard is a substance that has certain characteristics, such as a large molar mass. Uh, it's stable. It doesn't absorb moisture from the uh, atmosphere. And it remains uh, consistent and pure um, over time. So its concentration is not going to be constantly changing. One substance that's used very commonly in um, acid base titrations is sodium hydroxide. Now sodium hydroxide does come in pellet form but its molar mass is just 40 and it's very very unstable. The pellets themselves will absorb moisture from the atmosphere and this will change the concentration of the solution um, and continue to do so even after you've made the solution. So this is not a primary standard but it could be standardized that is it could be a secondary standard. And in fact, often we will um, use a primary standard, often an organic acid, such as tartaric, uh, potassium hydrogen phthalate, or um, oxalic acid, something like that, in order to standardize um, a solution of sodium hydroxide. And then, of course, if we then use that solution to titrate against an unknown acid solution, uh, we will know the concentration of the sodium hydroxide, and therefore we can calculate the concentration of the unknown. This is what volumetric analysis is all about. And of course, the most important thing about it is it's a precision technique. And so therefore, it, will, it requires practice. It's a precision technique. And so when any, whenever we're talking about precision techniques, we need to look at accuracy. We need to look at reliability. Are we getting consistent results in multiple repetitions? Um, and also validity. We need to make sure that what we're using is actually giving us the correct results. And validity often relates to a very important um, component of a volumetric analysis, which is the selection of an indicator. Now, it's not a simple matter of just picking any old indicator and that will tell you um, what you need to know about your solutions. Uh, different indicators can be used for different types of combinations of acids and bases, and we'll explore that uh, as we go further into this section of the module.